viewers and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, I will teach you how to make a paint app with color selection. In a previous class, I have already taught you how to make a basic paint app with color buttons. But you could only have a few color buttons in that app, so you were restricted. But in this tutorial, I will teach you how to show a color palette and the user can select a color from that palette. So let's begin. Go to projects, start new project, name it paint with color selector. Okay, no spaces in the project name. First, we will start making our front end. That is how the screen looks like along with user controls. We actually need two screens in this particular paint app. One will be the screen where we can draw and the second screen will be our color picker screen. But if we actually make two screens, by adding a screen from here, the state of the canvas is not saved when you shift between the two screens, which is a huge problem as this means that whatever the user is drawing can't have more than one color, a definite no-no for a paint app. The best solution to this problem is to have virtual screens. So you will be learning something new in this tutorial. We will have two vertical arrangements that will fill the parent in terms of width and height and only one of them will be visible at one time. So we will have two vertical arrangements on the screen one and they will be our virtual screens. One layout will contain our paint screen components where we will do the painting and the other layout will have our color picker screen and we will switch between the two layouts and hide or show them depending on the situation. So first of all, make the background of screen one black. So that's my personal preference. So make it black. Give it the title paint and make the screen orientation portrait. So that are the basic properties for our screen. Now I'm going to add the first vertical arrangement from layout. So go to layouts and drag and drop this vertical arrangement. Make it fill parent in terms of height and width. Make sure that you press OK. Rename the arrangement to paint screen as this is our first virtual screen. And now we will add all the components that are needed for our paint screen. We need two horizontal arrangements, so I will drag and drop them here. This top arrangement will have our chosen, that is selected color shown, and it will also have a button, which when we will press, will show the color picker screen, okay? So make this align horizontal center, align vertical center, Height is 10% and width is fill parent, okay? The second horizontal arrangement will have our slider for changing the thickness of the lines that we draw and it will also have our eraser and new canvas button so that your drawing is cleared up. Make this horizontal arrangement also align horizontal center, align vertical center, height is 10%, and width is fill parent, okay? Make the background color of the second arrangement white. Now what will come in the middle? That is the most important part, that is our canvas that we will actually need to draw. Because the canvas is used for drawing in all programming languages and similarly we have a canvas in MIT App Inventor. It is inside drawing and animation. Just drag and drop and make sure that it's in the middle of the two horizontal arrangements. Make it fill parent in terms of width and the height is 80%. Okay, give it the background color black and name it main canvas. Okay, now the topmost arrangement, as I said before, will have our color related buttons. So I'm going to add a button from user interface, drag and drop it here 
and name it selected color. Make width 10% and height is automatic. Shape is rounded and the background color is green. So that is our default color for our paintbrush that we will use for drawing when the app is started and remove the text from it. Add another button. Rename it to choose color BTN. So choose color button, make its background color white, font is bold, font size is 20, shape is rounded and the text on it is choose color. Okay. Now let's come to our bottommost arrangement. Now the problem with our viewer in MIT App Inventor is that we are not able to see the last arrangement. So for the time being, I can reduce the height of our main canvas to 70. And now I'm going to drag and drop the components for our bottommost horizontal arrangement. And then I will put the main canvas back to 80%. I need some images for my buttons here, the eraser and the new drawing button. For that, I will upload the media. I will give the link in the video description. Now, drag two buttons here. Okay, name this one eraser button choose an image and choose eraser that we had uploaded earlier make sure that you press ok remove text from it but now as you can see that the image is too big so what we can do is that we will make the height fill parent and the width 10 percent and you will see that this looks better now do the same for this button, but this is the new page button. So rename it to new button. Again, the image, the blank page one. Make sure you press OK. Remove the text from it. And the height is fill parent and the width is 10%. Okay, and this is the main reason why I made this bottommost bar white because the background of this new button was transparent. So otherwise I would not have been able to see this because our background is black. Okay, so now it's standing out the new button. Okay, now we need a slider from our user interface. I'm going to drag and drop it between the two buttons. Okay and rename it to line thickness slider okay give it the width 50 percent the max value is 10 the minimum value is 1 and the thumb position is 5 okay Thumb position means where the bar is set, okay? So this is basically thumb position. Now, the most important part. Remember, we need to add another screen, but it will be a virtual screen. So actually, we will not be adding a screen from here. We will be adding an arrangement over this arrangement, okay? And depending on the situation, we will hide or show the different arrangements, okay? So. For the time being, what I need to do is that I need to reduce the height of my paint screen, the vertical arrangement, which is the parent of these two horizontal arrangements and the main canvas. So I'm going to make its height 50%. Okay. So this is the trick for adding virtual screens. So reduce it. Now add another vertical arrangement. So go to layout and drag and drop it here. You can see that both of the arrangements are below the screen one and they are at the same level. Okay. So we have paint screen and we have 
the second vertical arrangement which we will rename to color picker screen. So this is our second virtual screen. Okay. Make its height 50% and width is fill parent. Drag and drop from drawing and animation a canvas. Make the canvas fill parent in terms of height and fill parent in terms of width. Now this canvas will have our color palette image. But first we need to upload that. So go to upload file in media, choose file, color palette. I will give the link in the video description and then OK. Choose this canvas. Also rename it to color picker canvas. So we can distinguish between the two canvases when we are coding because remember our paint screen also has a canvas. And for it the background image is color palette. Okay. What is the purpose of this canvas? The canvas has coding blocks using which we can find out what is the pixel color that has been touched. So you can see that it has all these beautiful colors shown in these boxes and the user will only have to touch a certain box and that color will be chosen because of our canvas blocks okay and that is why our color picker screen is basically a canvas with this color palette image on it now remember that this is not how our screen should actually look so we have to put them back the two virtual screens back to a height of 100%. So choose color picker screen, make height 100%, okay, and choose paint screen and make height 100% too. Make sure that you press OK. So remember that our color picker screen is still there but it is not visible, okay. So right now we are done with the front end design of our paint app with the color selector screen and we designed two virtual screens and you can write the code for them easily because you just have to shift between the two screens and show them or hide them depending upon the situation. But we will actually work on the block section of our paint app with the color selector screen in the next class. And I hope you like this video and do share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the cool things I have in store for you and do tell your friends and family about this channel where I teach programming app development and even mental maths thank you for watching my video have a good day and goodbye